What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Hope all's good wherever you are. In this video, we got Charlie Kirk debating some Wokies on whether open borders are a good thing or not. Yeah, some people believe that they're a good thing. Anyway, let's get into the video. I mean, just the whole environment with this and the cameras and everything, to me, is like not conducive to healthy conversation. I think it's inherently threatening to a lot of people. I'm sitting behind the table. My you're not physically phone. threatening me. I don't think you. I mean. But then, if you're emotionally threatened, who cares? That's my point. You're I mean, emotionally threatened by all of this. So feel, feelings mean nothing in the world. No one cares about how you feel except yourself and maybe your mother. Okay. Feeling, feelings are irrelevant. Well, you're here sharing your feelings with everybody. No, I'm sharing my logic, my facts, my facts, facts and thoughts. Yeah, I haven't told you once how I feel. Um, There's a difference. Feelings and facts are two different biochemical systems in how the, the mind and the body operates. Feelings are based on emotion, rising blood, blood levels, blood pressure, so on and so forth. Facts and logic are over long periods of time through reflection and through using math, science, and analysis of data. No, that's what I'm saying. So I'm not telling anyone how I feel, I'm telling people how I think. It's a big difference. Okay. Hey, I got a question. Sure. How are you? I'm doing pretty good. Nice, nice to, to see you. you. Yes. Gig, if you have your own like photo and everything like that. Um, so I just want to comment on the hat and the shirt. Sure. Um, everyone's entitled to their opinions. I completely respect that. Uh, live your life. But like, you know, a lot of immigrants do come here undocumented. And my family and I, being one of them, and we contribute to the economy. You know, I'm a graduate student, a 3.75 GPA, very smart guy. Mm -hmm. um, you know, immigration isn't perfect in a lot of ways. So I think instead of focusing on increasing border, I think it's definitely important to just focus on lubricating the immigration process to be fair, impartial, and quick. Um, I would agree with some perfect. of that, but jumping the border is not immigration. Yeah, well, what do you think about the kids that didn't have a choice? They, I mean, their parents should be deported. And the kids? I think maybe given a second chance. Really? Yeah. The immigration reform bill talked about that. Trump actually would have allowed the Dreamers to stay, and the Democrats opposed it. And why do I wear an ICE hat? Because the number one population ICE goes after are child sex traffickers. They've arrested 14,000 child sex traffickers this year. 14,000. Mm -hmm. The second population that ICE goes after are MS-13 gang members, of which no one can make a moral defense that it's a good thing that the MS-13 population in America is growing. U.S. Border Patrol is called a racist organization. 56% of Border Patrol agents are Hispanic. Well, I have no way to check your sources. And That's fine. You can independently check them. Can, can I give some uh, what, One second. Let me, let me. Good news. Uh, there's, there's a point. All I just want to say is that, like, undocumented people that came here when they were young or whatever age they came here, I think, we, I think, we do contribute to your economy. No doubt. And I, do, I, I, think there's a, I think there's a logical argument to be made that someone who didn't make the choice to go over the border should not be penalized for that at an age below a certain level. But it's not fair to the immigrants from Bulgaria and from Indonesia and from Central Africa who didn't have the opportunity to jump the border, that had to wait decades to get into this country, that will reward people that just happen to be closer to the border, broke the immigration laws, domiciled themselves here, call themselves immigrants when they're really border jumpers. No, I, I appreciate it. Like yes, All I but I think that we could actually find common ground that people such as yourself should be allowed to stay and be productive. But your parents did break federal immigration law, and there has to be some sort of recourse that, or else it will never stop. From? <laughs> Chicago. But where are their parents where are from? from? My parents are from I Mexico. Guess. But the point is, is that that's I mean, a whole argument. About originally, my parents, my great grandparents, came here from Poland legally. They didn't jump the border. Oh, I'm a proud Mexican, still a citizen and all. Thank you all for your time. Thank you for sharing your Well, do you realize what happens, like, you go across the border? You realize it's a metaphor, right? Yeah, I grew up, like, 15 minutes from the border. Okay, so then why is it that 95% of Border Patrol agents support building a wall? Wouldn't they know best how to secure our border? Where are you pulling that metric? 95%? Um, the Border Patrol Association. That, never heard that metric. Okay, you can, again, you can fact check anything I want. I encourage you guys to look it up. Yeah, that young fellow was getting upset, really upset. And the fact of the matter is, no matter what country we're talking about, if you don't have borders, you don't have a country. And like he was saying, yeah, I contribute to society, sure. But again, your first act into coming to the country, well, your family's, was a criminal act. And now what we're doing even more these days is that we're allowing these people that come in illegally to have a path to citizenship. In no other country's 
Except for Western countries, can you do that? And he says that they contribute, and it's true, some of them do contribute, but a lot of people cross illegally. Some of them do work. What that does is it takes jobs away from low-skilled Americans that would otherwise have those jobs. It's not that they're hiring illegals or undocumented aliens because American citizens are not willing to work. Why would you pay an American citizen minimum wage when you can pay an illegal 50 cents on the dollar, 60 cents on the dollar, and not have to pay insurance, you don't have to file any taxes for them? Easy cheese. Not to mention all the other problems, like we don't know who these people are, the crime that goes up. Look, there's a fentanyl epidemic or crisis, I should say, in America. Over 100,000 people, mostly young people, are dying every year of fentanyl, and that's crossing the border. A lot of these people are mules. The southern border is run by the cartel, not necessarily nice people. And they make a lot of money when they allow people to go through, whether that be Mexicans or South Americans or Africans crossing through Mexico. We've even seen some Asians cross through there. They have to pay the cartel fee to get in there. All you're doing is enriching a drug gang, a military at this point. Have you seen the Mexican cartel? And again, that young fella, he was a bit upset. So yeah, we contribute to society. But the fact of the matter is it costs American taxpayers over $200 billion a year to house feed and give medical to illegal immigrants. So I get the illegal immigrants point of view, right? You're going to a place, you got better opportunity. And again, you're going to get some housing, you're going to get some food, you can get some medical assistance. There's a lot of pros for the criminal in this case to cross over the border. But what about the American taxpayer? What about the people who are having to live in more crime infested areas? Because a lot of times what happens is if you don't speak the language, if you come in from a foreign country and you're an illegal, you don't speak English and you can't get a job, a lot of times these people turn to lives of crimes. Let's get back to the video. I'm sorry? No, no, one second. I want to... It's 95% 95% of Border like Patrol agents. Like yeah, you can, though. Uh, okay, but you, again, type in 95% Border Patrol agents. Oh, okay, again, facts don't care about your feelings. I but believe you that it's a fact. But wait, facts? Don't you care about feelings. <laughs> well, um, do facts bother you? Do facts bother you that 13,000 kids are trafficked across the border every single year? Or millions of guns? Or that 90% of our of heroin and fentanyl in this country come across the southern border? Or that MS-13 in America is growing, which is predominantly illegal immigrants? Does that bother you? I'm just more on the 95% of... 95% of Border Patrol agents support building the wall. Art Del Curo, who is the vice president of the Border Patrol Association, has publicly said it and released that data. You can ask yourself, what percentage of Border Patrol agents support building the wall? I'd support something that helped my job security too. Okay, but they, but Border Patrol agents are threatened, assaulted, and killed on the front lines by people that come across the border. This is such a false narrative. There's no war zone going on. What about the people no, in many Mexico, people, though? It's like 0.001% that's so, MS-13, and Trump puts this narrative. Okay, oh, so let's let's look at the, let's look at the fact. Stuff. So illegal immigrants committed 54,000 assaults last year. There's so did, I don't there's care the numbers of the, actual there's, citizens there, that committed worse. But the illegal shouldn't be here in the first place. The that's the point. Yes. The Correct. You know, we all live on the same planet. Borders sure, are so, made up, man. The planet's dying. Okay, so great question. Why, why do borders matter? Because borders are a distinction and a physical delineation of when good ideas start and bad ideas start. For example, for example, are you saying the United States is the good side and the other side? Without a doubt, our, our laws are much more moral than the laws in Mexico, without a shadow of a doubt. We have we have due process, we have cross examination of witnesses, we have the rule of law. I don't agree that the U.S. The, government system is better than the Mexican The, the, the Mexican always. Constitution is not even comparable to the United States Constitution. I don't disagree. Okay, so would you agree that where North Korea ends and South Korea ends, that line means something? I think or when, that that is or uh, when East and West Germany a false equivalency. Ends? So if you believe the North in a... Korean border situation has no equivalent in the modern world. No, no, but I'm saying borders... a comparison to the U.S. Well, Mexican borders country. matter. Oh, you just said they don't matter. We're on the same earth. They matter when it's a communist dictatorship state that literally kills what, what, what people about, the Holocaust. What about Mexico's a lawless country like Mexico that is run by cartels? Say that again, sir. Lawless. Say that again. Mexico. Okay, You're how many politicians were killed the during the last election cycle? Lawless. 580 politicians were killed in Mexico last year running for political office. The cartels run the country of Mexico. Okay. You can't refer to the whole place as lawless. Mexico Based is generally not the greatest place in North America right now. Yeah, so the solution is to not let them come here, right? 
you know, well, the, so, the solution is, is a lot of different things. First and foremost, you protect your own country because you care about your citizens, not because you hate the people on the outside. Secondly, if the walls don't work, why does Mexico have a wall on their southern border with Guatemala? Are you saying that wall works? I don't know. Yes, it does. It works quite well. What are you using to prove that metric? What you know makes, what happens what makes when it you, work? Well, because they have lower illegal immigration rates from Guatemala, Honduras, and El Salvador coming in their country than we do with Mexico and I the United that 100%. States. What happens when you know what happens when you you know what happens when you illegally immigrate to Mexico? You get deported back to your home country. Why don't we do the same? That's one thing they do right. Sounds like we should let them over here. To I'm pretty sure we do do that all the time. Right? Mm, no, we have that we know of 15 to 20 million illegal immigrants in this country. And it's not fair to the legal immigrants from Bulgaria or from Ukraine or from Central Africa that had to wait many decades Nobody to come in this country. Nobody needs to escape Bulgaria, okay? Well, they people did. They did after the fall of the Soviet Union. Okay. Well, how about people in Honduras who are getting killed sure, in they, the streets? Sure. We should allow more legal immigrants into America. Oh, okay. Legal immigrants and border jumpers are two totally different things. Those okay. that decide not to fill out the forms to so, come into America. So if we get here, we instead of sending them back, we should keep their child and send the parents back. I've never said anything close oh, to that. Oh, that's why. Is, why are there 2,500 ICE kids still not you, you, united with their parents? You mean the all 50? Their parents got sent back to their so home first, first of all, the ICE facilities that you're talking about, most of their parents are not even actually their parents. They're being illegally trafficked across the southern border. But see, this is how the arguments work. You just make these generic sort of well, things. It's not, oh, well, it's like, not generic. The Department, of, Just, like the Department of Justice did an audit of the ICE facilities, and more than 50% of the people bringing these kids across the southern border were not their parents. They're being, they're being sex trafficked across the southern border. I don't believe border. that the 25 don't believe it. Okay, so then we don't have anything to talk about. Well, see, but that's where the debates break down in the modern society. I don't believe you, you don't believe me, and now I'm going to go to class. That's right. Well, I mean, life. I said facts, There's, and you have There's not enabling discussion and exchange of facts to a mutual, like, understanding. It's just like... So how is it fair to the immigrants of the rest of the world that 15 million people legally cross the border should be rewarded fair. for that? If you're coming from a country well, where no. you're going to die... Okay, that that's exactly right. Who cares about being fair? We should be equitable, right? In our immigration policy? I agree with the things you're saying. I don't agree with the general <laughs> metrics like 95% of them are okay. MS-13. Or okay, I didn't say that. I said 95% of Border Patrol agents support building the wall when they were serving. You, don't make, you do not make compelling arguments. Thank you. Hello. Anna's great. Which part? Okay, so where I was going into addressing that whole thing is the reason I look at this and this whole immigration crisis and what happening, what was happening with the child separation is it's not from a political perspective. It's frankly a humanitarian issue that's been deeply exploited by, in my opinion, a very leftist agenda. So how I kind of got involved with all this is I was working with an organization oh, yeah, called Veterans it. for Child Rescue. So myself, I'm an Air Force veteran, and what they did is they're a non-political, non-partisan organization and they're combating trafficking among children That's coming good. in from Mexico into the U.S. So the oh, United sorry, States has a system set up, okay. and it's for, it's called a T-Visa for victims that have been trafficked. They're not deported back to Mexico. In fact, they're kept here. Um, I believe that when the media was using the term illegal immigrant, why were they just talking about Hispanics? Why are they just talking about Mexicans? That term is for everyone, not Visa just people coming yeah. from Mexico. And so I really kind of looked into the voting demographics. So you have the Hispanic population, specifically Mexican-Americans, being the largest voting minority in the United States and probably eventually going to be the biggest. How I got involved with all of this is I started reading the 2018 Human Trafficking Report, really seeing what was happening. You know, Tijuana just recently, within the last month, broke the homicide record because you have two factions of the cartels fighting over trafficking records right in the United States. So there was a system that, put, and frankly, the immigration system is broken, right? And you had an immigration reform bill that was looking to pacify both parties, but then you had it shot down by government officials that were Democrat for what reason? It wasn't helping anyone. It wasn't helping the people that they were say saying that they stood up for, right? So that's basically why I'm here and I'm so supportive of that. I don't believe that this country is unwelcoming to immigrants coming into We're, we're the most pro-immigrant country in the world. But when We've taken half the world's immigrants every single year. But when you do it the wrong way, people are hurt on both sides. And you look at the correlation that we have with Mexico as our biggest trade ally, but you see what happened in the early 90s with the negotiation of NAFTA and how it actually increased the illegal immigrant population coming into the U.S. because they couldn't find jobs in population or jobs that were legal in their own country. So I think it is hand in hand and it's our job to stand up for especially a population that people are speaking out on a political platform. Um, I obviously, I know a lot of people don't want to hear this, but when those children were being separated 
in my opinion, it was for the right reason because, right. Uh, you know, you never knew who the, these people were bringing over. They said their parents, but then you hear stories about people that are in Mexico right now and they talk about how they'll, you know, give their children up in hopes of giving them a better life and then they're just exploited because unfortunately children and humans are the only thing that you can resell. It's not like it can be confiscated and drugs. When you look at stories like Carla Cito, who actually spoke to her nonprofit, I'm trying to get an interview lined up on human trafficking. Um, and she was raped 43,000 times. A lot of people don't want to hear about that number. They don't Coming believe across that it's the possible. southern border. They don't believe that it's possible, but women are forced. I don't care if you're pro-life or pro-choice. These people are treated like cattle. They have their children, if they do get pregnant by the Johns that are purchasing them, they've had them taken away. They're exploited. It's modern day slavery. And a lot of the political officials exploit it. They say they want to talk about it, protect these people, and then they don't fix the problem. So that's why I'm here right now. And I appreciate that question. I hope that answered it. It's kind of long-winded. We need borders because, again, not everybody is good. There should be a path to being a citizen, a permanent resident, or getting your green card. Most countries have a way to becoming a citizen. Most. Most countries in the world will allow you to have dual citizenship. But you have to go through due process. you got to do this legally. You can't just skip the line. It's not fair for the people that have to wait years in order to become actual citizens, in order to get their green card, or in order to get a visa to go to America, that people cross illegally. And we have to remember also that we have bad humans in the world. The left will try to tell you it's not just illegal immigrants that commit crimes. Americans commit crime too. That's true. That's 100% true. So why are we importing other countries' criminals when we have our own already? I don't, think any, I don't think anybody on our side says that Americans don't commit crime or Westerners don't commit crime. It's already a big problem. But we're letting in every year over 2 million illegals that are, a lot of them, committing crime. And not all immigrants are the same. When, you know, Charlie talked about immigrants from the Ukraine, America has hundreds of thousands of immigrants from the Ukraine. They're not out there stabbing each other in the streets and grooming kids to be in UK Ukrainian street gangs. Also, these countries are far away. They've had to come in. They've had to apply. They were flown in. Charlie mentions the Border Patrol agents in the video. Now, how about we help those people out by creating the wall, by bettering the system? This $200 billion a year that goes to house, feed, and give medicals to these illegal immigrants. How about we give some of that to those guys? How about we take some of that, build a better border defense i don't know how much it would cost to build that wall but i would guess it's less than 200 billion dollars but these people are just they're students they've not lived in the real world yet and they're being taught by woke ideologues and critical race theorists that hate america hope you all enjoyed this video if you did as usual smash that thumbs up button hopefully if you're not a subscriber this is the video that i will earn your subscription with catch you all in the next video peace out everybody